name is Karen Wolf, and um, and I'm on the Venice Neighborhood Council. Um, and I've been a bit a Venice resident for 13 years. Um, and I am thrilled to say that I've raised two children up until the ages of eight and eleven, and all is going really well right here in Venice. I even had my son in my home in Oakwood. <laughs> in that terribly unsafe place. Um, and it's all gone really well. And um, they're learning the complexities of life, of um, you know how to have compassion and yet maintain their personal safety. And it's something that makes parenting more difficult, but I'm um, very happy to be grappling with issues like that. Um, I have three things that I hope that you'll consider covering. One is, um, I have um, worked with another, my children go to Ocean Charter School, a public school that serves a lot of Venice families. And um, uh, charter schools have lots of challenges, and um, one of them is providing uh, access to the curriculum for children who have um, minor to moderate learning disabilities. This is something that larger schools and larger school systems deal with um, better, and the charter movement is really having to catch up. And um, we started an organization called Pablo, Parents and Advocates for Better Learning Outcomes, because Pablo Picasso had a learning disability and he didn't do too bad. Um, so we're, we're working really hard on um, how to uh, provide better access to the curriculum for children. Um, there's about 20% of children in any given classroom, or 20% of the people in this very room, who have minor to moderate learning disabilities. Um, and they're really easy to resolve. So, that's one. Number two, just want to say briefly that the, um, a lot of people have brought up different aspects of um, the Oakwood Park issue. That park has served um, a lot of low-income families in this community for a long, long time. And trusting relationships have, have been built over a long period of time. And with budget cuts, with staff cuts and program cuts, we're going to have a lot of young people. My children personally don't um, participate in those programs, but I'm concerned as a community member about a lot of young people with nothing better to do this summer because they don't have those low income, uh, I mean those low cost programs. And then finally three, the, the issue that I've been most um, passionate about and that has taken up most of my time in the last year, a lot of other people have talked about different aspects of this. Um, the RV and the um, homeless people living in Venice and um, I'm very excited about the progress we've made with people that we didn't even want to sit in the same room together and um, the police department and um, the councilman's office and people on the Venice Neighborhood Council and other stakeholders in Venice have gotten together and we really have um, started to develop solutions to this and we're very excited about the safe parking program that, that the councilman's office is, um, is beginning to work on. Um, one huge solution would be to open the darn bathrooms at the beach so that homeless people have some place to go to the bathroom instead of on sidewalks and in alleys. It's, it's dehumanizing for everyone. Um, and then also, there is a real concern and it's an urgent matter because right this minute there is a spot bill um, introduced by Assemblymember Ted Liu. It's um, Assembly Bill 2228, and um, we really need to watch it, because right now it's just a spot bill, it's just a placeholder. But it potentially, it's there to try to address the problems with restricting parking that the Coastal Commission denied. And, um, and it's it's a little complicated, and I won't go into all of the details, although I have them. Um, but the real issue is that in the next day or two, that bill, the wording of that bill, is going to be, uh, the, bill, the spot bill will have to be replaced.
place with the actual bill. And so we'll all know what they're proposing. And, um, and that could be something that would um, really water down the Coastal Act so that parking is no longer something that is under the purview of the Coastal Act. And I'm concerned uh, about the floodgates opening. You know, uh, the Coastal Act has really been protected. And so I'm, I'm really concerned about that, and I, I hope you'll consider covering that. Thanks. to a minute and a half, so I don't have to interrupt you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah Roberts. I'm the owner of Hello Eco Marina Dali. As far as I know, we're the first eco um, franchise system, and I would be the first franchisee. We want to create like an eco net over the entire nation, and then eventually over the entire globe. But one of the important things that we're doing right now for Venice is we have a school fundraising program developed. I, I actually have a meeting with the Venice PTA in a few weeks. So I just wanted to let everyone know and say hi, and if I have any news that you would like in the future, I'm introducing myself, as well if anybody would like to talk to me about the fundraising program that we have, because it will help. Um, we're trying to integrate our business with the community, so we don't have to depend on government or budget cuts or anything like that. Just come talk to me. Hi, thank you very much for having this meeting. My name is Deborah Gaffnack. I've been a resident of Venice for 20 years now. Thank you so much for this. I'm here because I'm very concerned about the preservation of the Venice Pacific Plan, and that means the height of buildings that will be built. I totally understand that that change in commerce is, is needed, that there's growth, that, that we do have change in development, but I feel within reason and sustainability. Um, but we're already a densely populated community, and you can also hear that we're having parking issues, which means that as we become denser, there are apartment buildings, less homes, but more renters. And now you're finding, because of the economy just in the building that I've lived in for 20 years, which is between Speedway and Oceanfront, we now have people moving in as couples, where before it was only one person, so that means there's two cars. I'm just really concerned. We had a tsunami warning and we've had a number of earthquakes. You know what California is all about. And I'm just concerned in case there is a, nat a natural disaster, what exactly is going to happen and how prepared are we? Um, just now, like on Main Street, Pacific, the number of cars that have increased and their lack of responsibility in driving because they see is, is, is uh, is very uh, is a big concern of mine, and just when you have a accident, you have people flipped out because time is not on their side. They start driving crazy. They do U turns. Can you imagine when people are going to be confronted with fear? What's going to happen? This is my concern. I feel like the Coastal Commission has to. You have to make sure that it that it maintain, that it continues to have the power that it has in access and, and the laws that were created because they were created for a reason. Thank you very yeah. much. Good evening. 